So you're in a conversation in Spanish. You've been listening to your conversation partner and you're getting ready to say something. But suddenly you've forgotten the correct conjugation. You start rattling off the verb conjugation table in your head. Yo, tú, ella, nosotros, blah, blah, blah. La presión aumenta. People are waiting for you to finish that sentence y eso lo empeora todo. You stress out and you think frustrated. Come on, it can't be that difficult. It's just the simple present tense. I've drilled this conjugation table. I bet esa situación te sonó familiar. But can I let you in on a secret? The people who do manage to speak Spanish fluently don't even think about conjugation tables at all. They use a different strategy that allows them to bypass the entire conjugation table and use the Spanish present tense correctly and automatically when speaking Spanish. Today, I, Mariana, head of grammar at Spring Spanish, will show you how you can use that other strategy and prove to yourself that you can use the present tense in sentences in a quiz at the end of this video. Ready to kiss those conjugation tables goodbye? The present tense in Spanish is used, entre otras cosas, to talk about something that is happening in ese preciso momento or that will happen in el futuro cercano, like in this telephone conversation. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué haces? ¿Ahorita? Estoy haciendo mi maleta. ¿Neta? ¿A dónde vas? Viajo a Durango. Voy a visitar a mis abuelos. Chunk alert. Estoy haciendo mi maleta is a chunk native speakers use all the time as an equivalent of I'm packing. The literal translation would be I'm making my bag. But that doesn't make a lot of sense because, strictly speaking, it's already made. You just have to put stuff in it. Since it makes no sense when you do the word-for-word -word translation, it's better if you just learn it as a whole, as a chunk. Now, here's the best part. When you learn a chunk like this, you're already using a conjugation of the verb estar in the present tense in the first person singular, but you're not even thinking about it. So. In the rest of this video, pay close attention to all the chunks that contain a present tense and start memorizing them as a whole. We have highlighted them. Ha we have highlighted highlighted them. <laughs> oh. We have highlighted them in yellow for you. Native Spanish speakers also use the present tense in sayings or proverbs para expresar una opinión o para hablar de hechos. ¡Qué chido! ¿A qué hora sale tu avión? Mi avión sale a las 7. This is a fact. I can't change the time when my plane leaves, even if I get there late. Yes, it's happened to me, but it wasn't my fault, so don't judge me. Oye, ¿y te emociona ir a Durango? Pues me emociona ver a mis abuelos. Oye, ¿y qué tal es Durango? Dicen que es aburrido, ¿no? Pues la capital de Durango no es muy grande, pero el estado tiene paisajes increíbles. Everyone knows that Durango has amazing landscapes and that the capital city is relatively small. Therefore, we need the present tense. Now, dicen que is another chunk you should learn by heart. It could be translated as people say that. Dicen is the verb decir conjugated in the present tense in the third person plural. We don't really know who they are, so you can just learn this chunk to express an opinion or a gossip without being held accountable for it. Por cierto, we've created a flashcard deck to help our inner circle students memorize all the chunks in this lesson and all our other lessons. Interested in downloading them and trying it out? Check the link in the description. The present tense is also used to talk about things we do on our regular or a daily basis, like our job or habits and routines. Pero... ¿Qué haces cuando estás en Durango? No hago mucho, la verdad. 
The verb hacer is irregular, which means it doesn't follow a pattern. You might think that that makes it harder, but if you learn this chunk, no hago mucho, you're already conjugating the verb hacer in the present tense in the first person singular. No need to drill a conjugation table. No vas de antro? No conozco ninguno en Durango. Conocer is also an irregular verb, but again, if you learn this chunk, no conozco ninguno, you've already learned the conjugation plus something you may say in a conversation without thinking about grammar rules. Entonces, sí es aburrido. Supongo que depende de lo que te guste hacer. ¿A ti qué te gusta hacer? Yo. Prefiero ver películas o leer un libro. Okay, why don't you test what you've learned in this video by filling in the blank in the following sentences. Blank, mi maleta. Estoy haciendo mi maleta. This is something I'm doing right now. Blank, Durango. Viajo a Durango. This is something I'll do in the near future. Blank a las siete. Mi avión sale a las siete. This is a fact. Blank es aburrido, ¿no? Dicen que es aburrido, ¿no? Blank, ver películas o leer un libro. Yo prefiero ver películas o leer un libro. This is a habit or something I do regularly. ¡Felicidades! You can now use the present tense, but can you use all the other tenses? If not, you should now watch the video about all Spanish tenses where I help you master them through chunks and dialogues. Click the image that just appeared to watch it now. ¡Nos vemos!